Hey guys, welcome back to Tack and Track. I'm Brad. And I'm Gil. Today we're going to be talking about the Heritage Barkeep. This particular one is currently chambered in 22 mag. Um, came out of the box with a 22 long rifle cylinder, uh, six shot capacity. Uh, picked up uh, an additional cylinder that shoots 22 mag. Uh, from Pops Armory down in uh, Jemison, Alabama. Thank you, Glenn. Um, 22 mags, a pretty nasty little round. Doesn't matter in this gun, guys. I'm going to tell you, not a great review. Our first category is value. Brad? This is a gun that I really had really high hopes for. I, I like the small caliber firearms. They're usually uh, a pretty good value. They're usually uh, a lot of things. Um, the cylinder swap, what, what did you say it was, $30? Yeah, it's $30. The box. Box. I mean... Great. The ability to swap cylinders for $30 would really help a, a, a value score if the rest of the gun wasn't what it was. Right. Um, you can pick one of these up for under $200. Um, you can get a couple of different variations of this gun, different grips. This one's got the wood grips that are... Really nicely engraved. I was pretty surprised by that, given that the finish on the receiver here is horrible. It's dull. I think it's supposed to look color case hardened, but I don't know what happened. This one was new in box. This is how it came. I have cleaned it. It's not dirty. It's just a garbage finish on this gun. Um, you also... <laughs> You can't uh, eject the shells. There's no ejection rod like you'd find on any of these because it's such a short barrel. Uh, it doesn't have room for one. So they also give you a little plunger stick to stick down in there and jam the rounds out the, uh, rounds out the other end. Um, what do you get for your $200? A gun that will shoot and a revolver that has a safety on the back here. Um, that's one of the reasons I bought this because I thought it would be cool to have a revolver with a safety on it. It's not, it's really not. I hate this safety. It's not very intuitive. It's not very smooth. Nothing about this gun is smooth. We're giving it a pretty low value score of 1.7. And I think that's pretty fair. I think it might actually be a little bit generous to be honest. <laughs> um, this is, this would definitely be on my not buy list. And me and Gil both like cheap guns, right? Yeah. Um, we're okay with cutting some corners for a price advantage. Here, I just feel like they cut off a whole lot of corners. They did. It's just poorly manufactured, poor design, maybe. I, I just don't like it. Yeah, um, low value score, guys. Yeah, 1.7 for value. Our next category, however, is ease of use. It's not terribly hard to use. No. Uh, it is a revolver, so it works like anything else. We took off a few points because you do have to have an ejector rod to get the rounds out of there. Um, but pull the, the hammer back. The safety's not intuitive. The safety's not intuitive. Um, I, I think we actually went a little high on our ease of use score because it is a revolver. But yeah, and I mean, I'm I'm not a, a a big revolver guy. That's no secret. But generally, that's one of the things that I look at when somebody's talking to me about what gun should I buy. If ease of use is is one of the most important factors. It, Revolver, right? Revolvers are easy to use. That being said, this may be our lowest scoring revolver of all time on ease of use. Right. Um, that's a, we got a pretty bad score for what it is, but don't forget it is a revolver. Revolvers are inherently easy to use. Right, so we gave it a 3.7. Um, that's the lowest on our list for any revolver. Um, but overall, not very pleased with that and ease of use. Reliability, however, we're going to give it a four. We haven't had any issues with reliability. Um, the crunchiness, the way it feels when you're operating it, uh, it still works. So reliability-wise, we're going to give it a four. Um, we can't go over four and a half with it because we haven't put 2,500 rounds through it um, to really find out how often we're going to have issues out of this. Um, and I feel like shooting 22 mag through here 22 mags a little bit better than long rifle on setting off every time. Yeah, and 22 mag is, I think, just better manufactured. I don't think there's anything with 22 LR 
versus 22 mag that really makes it better other than the fact that I feel like people spend more time and more care when they manufacture the 22 mag and we've been shooting decent ammunition out of this thing too yeah and should come to no surprise at you that that is going to be the highest score we're going to give this gun out of any of our category is a four for reliability um, now fun factor it's it's not it's not fun I don't like this gun um yeah so it, it's it's not easy to to take to the range and have a blast with um I can't tell you how many times I have picked this thing up and gone to pull the trigger only to realize that the safety's on uh, eh. safety <laughs> put that on because I know you'd forget who has a safety on a single action heritage um i, I generally yeah. like safeties um big fan of safeties but this isn't the kind of gun that normally has one and i feel like being a single action it's inherently safe sure right um and then to have a safety on it um the, the capacities of course extremely limited mm -hmm. um and just in a comparison on just the way they look, this this isn't a particularly pretty gun compared to the others. Now the wood finish is, is great. Actually, yeah, the grips are I'm surprised by the grips. The grips are, are fairly nice. I'm sure Heritage didn't make these. Somebody made them for for them here. Yeah. Um not not a real fun gun. Yeah, and and I'll say this for Heritage. I have not shot any of their other twenty two revolvers. I can't imagine they're any better. I can't imagine they're any worse. Can't imagine they're any worse. So, so we'll say that. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave the jury out on Heritage as a brand, but um, this guy's on the do not buy list. Yeah, fun factor for this one, 2.2, which is very low for a revolver. Um, revolvers are, they're always so much fun. But in small caliber, handguns are fun. Yeah, they should be. They that should was just be not. this one. Yeah. Um, accuracy, even lower. We're giving that one a 1.9. Terrible. <laughs> um, single actions, uh, decent barrel length, 22 mag. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is an acceptable barrel length. It should be accurate. 22 mag is... That's a great round. A great round. Yeah. Um, it's accurate round. It is. Single actions. Generally accurate guns. Generally accurate. This thing's not... No. And it has all of the features that should lead to accuracy. Yeah. And it comes up short in performance all day long, every day, no matter how many different times we try it. We we really tried to love this gun. I, I don't ever like getting rid of guns. I, I, I have no love for that one. If I forgot to get someone a gift and it's the day before their birthday, guess what they're going to get? <laughs> it's, it's probably that right there. Um, so this one, we're given a, an... Accuracy score of 1.9, which brings our overall score to 2.7, which is really low uh, For any gun that we review that's on par probably with the LCP Although I think I'd take the LCP over that 